Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have something a little different. I've got a bit of a mailbag, basically some electronic uh, items I thought some of you might find interesting and somewhat relate radio related or testing related. Um, I ordered some things from uh, Merlin P. Jones and Associates, uh, mpja.com. Ordered some things from them a few times. Um, pretty good, pretty good company. Got quite a selection of. Uh, different uh, pieces of electronics, uh, test leads and modules and surplus and power supplies, things like that. So I thought you guys might be interested in that and check them out. They send you a little catalog when you order something from them with all their stuff in it and you can sign up for a email of their weekly specials as well. So let's start off with our first item here. I've got Quite a few of these actually. These were um, a group of five stackable banana jacks and um, the time that I bought them they were on sale for um, I think it was uh, $1.95 but the regular price is $2.49 and I believe they're back at $2.49 again. Now this is $2.49 for five of these which is a pretty good deal because um, the Pomonas, the name brand ones, are about $255, $256, something like that per banana plug. So you're getting you know, five for one basically almost. So one-fifth of the price and you get one of each um, colors. I ordered several packages of those and uh, looking at them, they're... they're um, not too bad. I mean, they're pretty decent uh, construction. Um, plastic on them is, is nice. I mean, they're not... Let me pull you in here a little bit um, closer. There we go. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, like I say, the construction isn't too bad on these guys. The plastic feels pretty good and they feel pretty uh, pretty um, sturdy. Um, I'll take uh, there's like a little what it is is you put your your wire in this hole and there's a screw in here that tightens down on the wire and makes uh, contact. And the nice thing about these particular ones which I, I like about the stackable ones is if you have something plugged into um, a power supply and you need something else to be plugged into that like a ground or something you can take another one and plug it in and you can just keep going on forever <laughs> with those so that makes it kind of nice like I say the Pomonas are expensive they're like two dollars and fifty cents plus per banana plug which you know if you're in a lab situation or an industrial thing where you're doing professional stuff you know you might warrant the extra price but these are really not really that bad I mean they're they're not horrible like you would think some of the uh, cheaper um, plugs would be but uh, yeah these are actually pretty nice for the price and I've got actually a Pomona right here the difference here is a little difference in color um, you can see that uh, the the end piece here is a little bit shallower and a little thinner than the Pomona. The Pomona has um, a little bit heavier duty plastic. I don't know. I think the, the, these ones that I bought were like ABS and I'm not sure what the Pomona's are. They might be an ABS but maybe a, a better grade or thicker or something. But they, they feel a little more sturdy. Although these ones there's no problem with them all they, they feel just fine let's take the uh, set screw out of uh, this guy now you can see there's a big difference in that size wise you know I mean that's a lot beefier in the Pomona versus the uh, you know five for 249 ones but really for um, home use um, making some test leads, um, hooking things up, these will be just fine. And at one fifth the cost, um, yeah, I think they're a pretty good deal. So anyway, um, just thought I'd let you know about those. Like I say, you can get 
five different colors in the package um, for at currently two forty nine versus one of these for like two fifty six or something like that on Digikey. So there you go. There's the the first item. I'll just push these off to the side. Like I say, I got I got uh, a few of them. I got <laughs> I I got I went crazy and bought ten packages of them. So that should keep me occupied for quite a while. Um, what else did I get? I bought some, bought a couple of switches here. Um, sometimes I build like things in enclosures, like a power supply or something like that, and I need a, a nice switch. And when I bought these, uh, I, I didn't realize they were this big. These things are honkers here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't think I usually build anything that requires, uh, what does it say here? Um, 15 amps at 250 volts AC so um, I think I'm gonna be okay with the switch in my next power supply job that I build anyway um, these were um, fairly um, inexpensive as well let's see how much were these guys toggle switches were a dollar 95 a piece so not too bad I bought uh, some heat shrink um, heat shrink is one of those things that uh, always find uses for the heat shrink um, and if you don't have it and, uh, and you're always wrapping something up with uh, electrical tape or or something like that so I decided I'd get a package of pieces of heat shrink it says it's a pack of 127 heat shrink tubings uh, black seven sizes 395 so that's pretty good Next thing I got here, I got a pack of 100 uh, cable ties, six inches, and those are a dollar ninety-five. So, can always use these. This and heat shrinking do a lot of things with. And then I got some uh, some nice knobs here. These are kind of uh, an all-purpose knob. It's got a little indicator on them, you know. So you can uh, use them for different radio projects or other pieces of equipment that you want to mess with. It's got a, um, a set screw inside that will grab the knob and uh, it's, it's round all the way around. There's not a, there's not a flat spot on it to, uh, to line up with the flat spot of the shaft. So um, you'll have to line up your indicator before you tighten them down. But um, um, these, are, these are pretty nice. Uh, knobs and these knobs were uh, 30 39 cents a piece so kind of nice to have a few spare knobs around for uh, replacements and whatnot so those are nice and then these guys I got I got a couple different ones these are 16 pin IC sockets and 14 pin IC sockets and these are the um, uh, I think the original company was uh, Milmax made these and they're machined round machine ones and uh, they're really a nice uh, socket they uh, really fit in there nice and tight and make very good contact real sturdy sockets and uh, I got like I say the, the two different um, ones there the uh, 14 pins were 50 cents a piece and the 16 pins were 55 cents a piece so it's so kind of handy And for my last item here, I've got some speakers. I, I thought I'd get a few speakers for different radio projects, and I just needed to uh, hook something up and see if it's working, or perhaps it's a radio with just a headphone jack, and I wanted to listen to it externally. So I thought I'd get some, uh, some of these speakers. This is a, it says they're 8 ohm speakers. 3 watt 2 inches and they were a dollar 29 a piece so get this guy separated here it's all taped up yeah. there you go <laughs> yeah I haven't obviously tried them to see what they sound like but uh... it's under a boil water advisory at michiganradio.org Michigan Radio News Support for NPR comes from NPR stations. 
Other contributors include the Kauffman Foundation, working together with communities to break down barriers and prepare all people for success in their jobs and careers as employees or entrepreneurs. More online at Kauffman.org. This is All Things Considered from NPR News. I'm Michelle Martin. They, uh, they look pretty nice. they got a you know, good-sized magnet on them there. Um, kind, of, kind of got some weight to them, so that's kind of nice. I'll have to work on getting this tape off of here, it looks like. Wow, that's sticky. I'm going to have to clean that up with some goo gone or something. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I figured I'd get a few of these, and uh, then when I have a radio that I'm working on, it doesn't have a speaker, I've got something to connect to it. So, yeah. So that's my uh, mailbag haul from uh, from uh, from uh, old good old uh, mpja.com, Merlin P. Jones and Associates. So there you go. There you have it. Let me know if you like mailbags or not. Just something new I'm trying here. So we'll catch you on the next one. This is the Radio Geek.